Following on Portland's innovative spirit, you know, we've talked about the food carts, we've talked about the approach to out outdoor space and to transportation. I think this is the retail example that um, is most exciting right now in Portland. And one of the things that you may not recognize in looking at this is this walkway didn't used to exist. There were two nightclubs that were on this site and you didn't really have a sense of the wood beams or any of the beauty that you see above in the space that was here right now. And a local developer decided he wanted to try an innovative uh, project here, connecting the two streets. You've got Powell's Books, a well-known Portland institution on one end, and you've got a series of great restaurants and coffee shops and hotels on this side with Kenny and Zook's Stump Town and the Ace Hotel, which is a great place to stay if you come in town. So he really wanted to see uh, how we could connect that mid-block and, again, start to bring the West End together with what was happening in the Pearl District. And aligned on, on both sides of this, you'll see a whole series of very high-end, um, some might say too high-end for Portland, risky stores. But uh, there's a lot of enthusiasm for the experiment that's going on here to see if it will work. And it really just creates a beautiful public space for Portland. Another, I think, opportunity of giving back to the Portland environment and creating something far greater than, than the sum of its parts. One thing about this particular kind of development is, you know, to have great success, you really have to curate the shops that you want to come in. So I know that there was a lot of research done for this particular development to determine who would move in and who would be really a good fit for drawing people to the space. A long-standing Portland company, Danner Boots, actually occupies the anchor spot on the far end. Um, and I think that's a great way to kind of celebrate local Portland. And, and all that is. Um, you also see Will Leather Goods, which is a very popular um, leather company out of Springfield, Oregon, I believe. And then a series of the spaces go all the way down to 178 square feet. So you go from very, very tiny retail spaces up to a 1,500 square foot retail space. And I think that diversity also allows companies that really couldn't compete if they had to fill a whole retail space, allow them to compete um, and provide uh, something special and unique to the market. So this is the lobby of the ZGF offices, uh, standing just out the front. Um, if you would have been here before we built the building five years ago, you would have been standing on the edge of a parking lot, at least for this half of the block. On the back half of the block there is Jake's, which is a Portland institution, a classic restaurant, seafood restaurant, and an American Apparel on the opposite corner. In between those two was a small piece of property that we ended up buying and incorporating into this development. And when we, we looked to move to come up here, we really wanted to find a space where if we were going to build a building, we could help impact the direction that the city was moving. So we spent a lot of time looking around and landed here because we felt there was a lot of energy coming across Burnside Street from the Pearl, Pearl District that we could take advantage of, and also a real need to pull downtown up into this part of the, of the downtown that was fairly sleepy, not a lot going on. And we've been really excited to see that over the time that we've been here, there's just been an influx of restaurants and uh, new stores and activity in this particular area. So for those of us working here, it's been a really fun transition to live through. One of the things that we think is helping that is this building has our offices on floors two through five. Above that, we have um, residential apartments. So, so popular, in fact, that some of our employees even live there. Um, but, but that influx of residential apartments, um, so adjacent to a Whole Foods that's just across Burnside, really has re reinvigorated the area and gotten a lot of people to, to live in this area downtown. And the apartments timed very well with the market um, during the recession, where there were a lot of people actually looking for um, housing that was not, they weren't purchasing. So it's been, a, it's been a great neighborhood for us to be in and exciting to see the changes. So I think the, the one thing in my mind that really makes truly Portland truly special at the end of the day is the variety of Portland and that extends from the variety of transportation options that we have in the city to the variety of public spaces that have been made. You know, everything from you know, this quiet contemplative spot right in the middle of the city that you can get away from it all to the very active downtown events venues. And then how that knits together with all of the, uh, the, the retail, the food, the um, businesses of an industry of Portland. It really brings people together and doesn't try to be any one thing, but has a little bit of something for everybody. And to me, that's why so many people move here, settle here, and, and make it their home. <laughs>